the magic of this place, and they're in the back, and they have gone through, they've inventoried all the loot in the building. And we're going to auction it off, and then we're going to tell them who won the, the bid and how much it was for, and then they're going to put in their little computer over there. So at the end of the auction, all you have to do is go pay your bill, and you don't even have to pick stuff up because I'm going to make you take it as soon as you get it. <laughs> all right? So, man, this is easy on us, so this is really going to be cool. All right. How's, how's my wife? Come on, this is a two-way inter interaction thing here. So, Steve making a smart-ass comment already? <laughs> yes. Oh, yes, okay, good. Great answer. All right, Vanna, what are we going to start with? Amanda. Well, Tom's going to come here. No, we're going to start with this Okay. All right. Here we go. Here is our lovely gift that is available. Give her a round of applause for all the beautiful work she's doing already. All right, we've got an Estes uh, Spaceship One. This is the big one, not the little one. Yeah, it's made of foam, but hey, this thing flies cool. And uh, let's start the uh, bidding on this at $800. Who'll give me $800? <laughs> 80 cents. 80 cents starting bid. How about a dollar 80? Come on, somebody give me a dollar 80. It's worth it. Come on, dollar 80. Dollar 80. Two bucks? Five bucks. Five bucks. Dave, Dave's here going for five. Come on, can you get 10 out of this? Come on, it's, it's definitely, it retailed for, oh, it's got two sides. Uh, it was at uh, HobbyLobby.com for 20 bucks. So come on, can I get 20 bucks out of somebody? I'll even take 10 right now. 10. 10, okay, John's gonna give us 10. 11, 12, oh, heck, 20 bucks. Anybody give me 20 bucks? Okay, $10 going once. 12 bucks. Good job, Dave. Twelve dollars. Uh, how about fifteen dollars? Fifteen. <laughs> go eighteen. Come on, go ahead. Go eighteen. It's worth, it's worth twenty bucks when it was then. Go for it. Eighteen dollars. Going once. Going twice. Sold. Eighteen dollars for John Buckley. <laughs> Okay. All right, we're on number 87. 80, 87. Anybody have any idea what this is? Yeah, Chris. The 3D printed bracelets. It's a 3D printed bracelet. The, and Vanna is trying it on. The pink, All right. one, the pink okay. one is an NAR bracelet. Okay. And the other two are Narum 58 Walnut Grove, Missouri bracelets. Right. And they are the only two of three that will ever be made in the universe. www.nar.org. All right. Cool. Same thing. All right, let's start this out at $25. 3D printed. Two bucks. Okay, Dave's going to start us off with two bucks. How about four? How much for the blue one? They come as a set. They're a set. Oh. So it's $5 for the blue one. For $5. 10 bucks. We got 10 bucks. How about 12? Somebody give me 12, 10 bucks. Going once. Twice. Sold. Ten bucks. What's your name? Bob. <laughs> <laughs> I've got number That's 87. Bob. 87, Bob. <laughs> Bob, what's your last name? Farah. F-A-R-R. Bob Farah. All right. Congratulations, Bob. <laughs> All right, let's get let's get some weird stuff out here. The dude, I got a dude here. Come on, somebody start me out. It's number sixteen. It's the dude. One uh, penny. One penny. It's worth every penny. Five. Five dollars. Give me seven. Somebody give me seven. Come on, seven dollars right up front here. Eight dollars. Steve, come on. Eight. Eight dollars in the back. Nine. Nine bucks. Nine bucks over here. How about ten? Ten dollars. Bob always a sucker. He'll go ten dollars. How about fifteen? Come on. Come on. Bob, how about you? Fifteen? No. Okay. I got ten dollars going once. Ten dollars and one cent. Ten dollars and one cent. A real trooper up here. <laughs> okay. Can I get uh, twelve dollars? <laughs> All right. Ten dollars and one cent going once. Going twice. Oh, he's gonna raise it. He's gonna raise it. Eight, ten. He's got. He's got the money. He says. All right. Uh, gone three times. Sold to Zachary Crampton. Number sixteen. All right. Ooh, we got some books. 
Brooks. Hey, this is number 76. It's a set. It is a uh, Leonard Nimoy, I Am Spock, good book. Autograph. No way. Show us the autograph. Okay, that came up missing, but we still have the Saturn Five set. <laughs> Anyway, uh, autographs, so let's start at 100 bucks. Turn the page. Turn the page. Turn the page. Hold it I up. found it. Oh my gosh, look at that. An actual sign. And also comes with um, a Steve E's 1 one, one tenth scale Saturn V uh, video set. Okay, 100 bucks. Let's start at 100 bucks. 100 bucks right here. 120? Come on, 120 bucks is worth every penny. I'll go 120 bucks. Autograph. 140. Anybody for 140? 140. How about 150? $150. Leonard Nimoy on the spot, autographed. Good book, I read. $150. Who had that? $150 going once. Then it gets me. Going twice. <laughs> so, <laughs> how, how much, how much, Glita? 151. 151. 160. Come on, Glita, go. Again. 200. I bet you $200. $200. The thing is worth every penny. Somebody. Somebody. Come on. $200. <laughs> $200. Oh, it's $200 going once. $200 going twice. $200 sold. And what number is that? Number 76. Bob Justice. Bob Justice. All right, what's next there, man? Twenty-one. Oh, we we needed this for uh, earlier this week. Uh, I have got some PMC kits, number twenty-one. Uh, there is the. Uh, gosh, I don't even know if I have know how to pronounce, pronounce this. Anybody good in German? Anyway, there's a, a couple buzz of. Bombs. There's three buzz bombs, three different buzz bombs here in model kits. Uh, can I start this out at five bucks? Anybody give me five bucks for three models? Plastic model yeah, it's pla it's past uh, plastic model time. All right, nobody's really interested in this. Five, five bucks. Five bucks. Okay, Zach's got five bucks on this. Um, Zach, I tell you what, if I can get this bid higher, would you be okay with that? Yeah. Do, do you, how badly do you want this? Not really. Okay. I, no, this is this is a good thing because I have special. Prizes available. $6. Vanna, let's get, oh, Dave is going to put $6 on. I want to prime the pump a little more. Vanna, bring out one of the special boxes. It is this. I'm going to throw in this. Somebody go to 20 bucks, and I will throw this box in. Will somebody go to $20? You don't know what it is yet. Right now, it's a cardboard box. It's a mystery box? It's a mystery box. Anybody go $20? Comes with the and, and we'll throw the kits in, so at least you know you get the kits. Trouble, trouble. $20. $20. Dave's going to go with $20. All right. Does anybody want to go higher? $21. $21. I'll go $22. $22. I just found a, um, this looks like a little stand to put your rockets on, it looks old, uh, to paint them. I know what that is. What is it? That is an MRI launch pad. This is an MRI launch pad. Oh yeah, it's got a spot for the launch rod and everything. Okay, that's an MRI launch pad. And the box is not empty yet. What's that? It is kind of a secret, but I'm going to tell people what's in the box. <laughs> <laughs> There's more items in the box than they bid. Okay, who, who give me Dave's what? Twenty dollars. Twenty-two dollars. How about twenty-five? Somebody give me twenty-five. And there's still mystery stuff in the box. Twenty-five bucks. All right, twenty-two bucks going once. <laughs> twenty-two bucks going twice. Last chance. I mean, it's amazing price. Okay, sold Dave, 22 bucks, all right. What did Dave get? He got number 39. Dave Gilmore won number 39. Um, and what was the number on this one? 21. And number 21. And Dave got a Farside Deluxe 2T. Uh, is this an FSI model? No. What is this, anybody know? Yeah, it's a... Uh... 
Hit the volume button. Pine cap. Pine cap. A pine cap model. Nice. Nice, Dave. Nice haul there. Awesome. Yeah, already got it. Pine cap associated. All right, Banner, what do you want to do next? Pick up from that table over there. Ooh, it's a bag of rockets. All right, we got we have got in here some built rockets. Here is a built Estes Saturn V that's missing a fin. It's number 46 in our pile of treasures. Um, I don't recognize this. Anybody know what that is? That's a rocket. Yeah, it glows in the dark. It, this glows in the dark? Yeah, it wasn't painted. That's the leaf Eric It's a Nike smoke, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, can I get a buck for this? These are from uh, these are from Dick Sipes collection. Uh, Dick Sipes was an early member of the Narhams Club. He passed away and his uh, the state family wanted to make sure that all of the rest of the rocketry stuff came to somebody. So we have a number of things here, motors and all the rest from Dick Sipes' collection. This is a series of rockets from that collection. Excellent. How about five bucks? Five bucks in the back. Five. How about ten? Anybody give me ten? Come on. Come on, guys. Ten bucks up front. Ten bucks. Twelve? Twelve bucks. How about fifteen? Fifteen up front. Go twenty? Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks for a bunch of uh, beautiful kids. Twenty bucks. Can you go twenty-five? Anybody go 25? $20 going once, going twice, sold 20 bucks. All right, and this is number 46, and who are you, sir? Dave Hobart. Dave Hobart. Hobart. Dave Hobart. All right, come on up and get your prize. <laughs> All right, I got a, a Star Wars starter kit. I don't have it. Oh, yeah, number 15. All right. Oh. Uh, this is kind of a historical thing. Who would like to buy a box with some instructions in it? <laughs> Not kidding yet. Anybody give me five bucks for the beautiful box with instructions? And a dowel. All right. All right, I'll throw in a pack of D12 threes in the diamond pack. All right, my dollars. Number eight. Okay, now we're talking. I'm throwing both. Because I'm not throwing that away. Okay. Okay. I want the so, so I want the D. How many <laughs> yeah. engines are in there? Oh. All right, what's that? How many engines are in there? Uh, these are two three packs of D's in the diamond package. I don't remember even seeing these as a kid, so this is a pretty good deal. You're not old enough. Not old enough. D12 threes? 20 bucks. They're both D12 threes. So you got six ancient D12 threes that are perfectly fine. What are we at? 20 bucks? 20 bucks. Can I hear 25? Anybody got 25? 25 up here? How about 30? 30 bucks. Come on, 30 bucks. Okay, Chris Taylor's got them for 25. We got 30 bucks over here. Can I hear uh, 35? Aaron's got his hand up back there. <laughs> He's scratching his back. All right, 35, right? Hey, back in the day, back in the day, those nine engines would have gone for nine dollars, and people would have been angry for paying so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 35. 35. Can I go 40? Okay, 35. Going once. Going twice. Sold. 35. All right, that's number 15, number 80, and it's uh, Bob, how do you pronounce your last name? Justice. Justice, just Bob Justice, you got him? Okay. All right, there you go. That was code for I forgot your last name, so can you spell it for me? Yeah. <laughs> okay, pa package number 25 is a bunch of models. We have a V2 model that would be great for PMC next time we have it. Uh, look, a little uh, ME163 Comet. 
So that could fly a Micromax. And a um, Ariane 5 uh, plastic model. Be great for plastic model conversion in the future. Uh, can we do $5 on this package? Okay, $5. We got $5 over here. Can we do 10? 10 bucks, come on, 10 bucks. Three plastic models. Two of them can easily be converted, and the other one would just be fun. 10. 10 bucks. Pam Gilmore's 10 bucks. We got 15 in the back. How about 20? 20 bucks. 20 bucks. 15 bucks going once, going twice. 15 bucks. Sold. In the back of the room. What was the number again there, Amanda? Down the front of the middle one. Where? 25. 25. <laughs> got it? Yeah. <clears throat> Steven Cap, 25. All right, let's do some more old motors. This is package number 54, and it contains blue tubes. Amanda, what sizes are on those blue tubes? C60. C60. B64. B64. A3. A3s. A52. A52s. Uh, B14s. Oh no, this is one half A6 O's. Where's, where's Steve Crystal? <laughs> Steve, you need any of these? No, I don't think so. D13 O's. Uh, D13 O's in a green tube, that's nice. And uh, last but not least, a C. I think it's C65. That's not a C5, is it? The C65. Oh, they were in existence in the blue tubes? All right, I got a, a lot of motors here, all from Estes. Uh, can we go $10? Anybody go $10? $20? $25? Go ahead, $25. Come on, we can't let this go for just $20. Why not? There's something over here. <laughs> How many blue tubes are there? How many blue tubes are there? Seven tubes. Six, seven tubes. Seven tubes. What are we at? Twenty dollars. <laughs> Twenty-five. Okay, we got thirty. Anybody got thirty? Twenty-five dollars going once. Going twice. Oh, okay. Thirty-five. Bob. Forty. Forty. Okay, we hear forty-five. Forty. Forty-five. Seven packs of motors. Forty-five. Forty-five. How about fifty? Come on, let's wrap it up at 50. 50 bucks going once, 55 going once, 55 going once, going twice, sold, 50 bucks. Lot 54. Bob Justice. Bob Justice again. <laughs> All right, I should buy this. Uh, Evil Knievel, one of the original Century Rockets. It's lot number 19. Let's go for $10 to start. And they give me $10. $10 right up front. How about $15? $15 for Evil Knievel. It's original. I'll take 15 You'll do $15? All right. We made that, Amanda. Okay. You know? Come on. Okay, fine. Who's got money? $15. Yours is not an original. Who's paying for it? No, mine's not an original. Well, who's paying for it, you or our? Original yes. stickers. College students, so you know how that works out. <laughs> Do you want to bid any higher, Amanda? <laughs> All right, 20 bucks. Come on, somebody give me 20 bucks. Okay, Steve Crystal, give me 20 bucks. How about 25? 20 bucks going once. Going twice, Steve Crystal sold twenty-five dollars. Number nineteen. Oh, yeah. I can't really tell what this is. It's lot number eighty-two or twenty-eight. Now it's eighty-two. It is a pin for a R-I-O-N, Ryan? Orion. Oh, oh it's, the planet is an O. That, that's, that's a NASA Orion pin. The triangular logo, it was designed by Michael Okuda, the Star Trek graphic artist. <coughs> Very good. Star Trek graphic artist did the Orion pin. All right, all right, let's go 10 bucks. Come on, really cool pin. We got 10, how about 15? 15 in the back, how about 20? Come on, 20 bucks, gang. 20 bucks would be easy. All right, who has their hand up over there? 20 bucks going once. 18. 18 bucks, where's 18? Okay, 18 bucks going, 
Twelve. Twenty. 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 Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Twenty. No, not twenty. Twelve. Twelve dollars. We're going backwards. It's not right. All right. They had to show that around a little bit. Come on, that's that's worth more than the uh, twenty bucks I'm looking for. Limited condition. Come on, limited edition. Vanna wants this sold. Twenty bucks. Come on, somebody give me twenty bucks. All right, where were we last? Eighteen over here. Eighteen bucks. Going once. Twenty. Twenty bucks, Dave Gilmore. How about twenty-five? Come on. It's worth 25. All right, Dave Gilmore going once, going twice. Sold, Dave Gilmore. 82, 28. Number 82, and what'd you say, Dave? 20 bucks, right? Thank you, Dave. Box. Thank you much. Box five. Box five. Where'd that come from? Oh. She's quick. This is three box. What's it say there, Amanda? To be opened by buyer only. We have no idea what's in this box. Yes, it's we do. Cool. We know what's in it. Okay. It's really heavy. It's yeah, cool. it's it was probably sent by us. Let's see who the, let's see who the address was. For a guest of John Buckley from Marla Ridge. Oh, from Penrose, Colorado. Do we know anybody that lives in Penrose? <laughs> All right, we got an Estes mystery box here. Um, this is number five, and we are going to go with a hundred bucks. Who'll give me a hundred bucks for it? Hundred bucks for it. It's full. It's heavy, right? It, right? Yeah, it's heavy. Okay. Hundred bucks, right up front. Hundred and five. Who go hundred five? Hundred ten. Hundred five. Come on. Hundred five, right up here. All right. Hundred five going once, twice. Hundred five bucks. Sold. James Crampton. James Crampton. Nice job there, Vanna. Easy hundred bucks, right? It's a Cabela bag. Fishing lures. <laughs> All right, it's wood blocks. Bean guys. Wood and fin jigs. Oh yes, they are wood and fin jigs. Oh, they're pretty too. There's lots of them. There's lots of them. There's probably every size body that you know as a man. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute, there's a little post in here. Oh yeah, a little centering post so that you can put the post on the uh, fin jigs and little wooden fin guides. Okay, this looks like a good item. How about uh, 20 bucks? Anybody give me 20 bucks? Bob Allway, you give me 20? We get 22, how about 25? 25, how about 30? 30 dollars, how about 35? Go Van. 35, we wanna go 40? Stack. Is the husband worth 40? Woohoo! <laughs> okay, 35. 35. 35. 40, Bob? 50. $50 for Bob Allway. Come on, we got $50 going once, going twice. $50. 50. Uh, right under the wire. 52. Come on, Bob. You're going to have to go 55 to make it a nice round number. Come on, Bob. Yes, we'll throw the bag in. The uh, Cabela's bag is included. All right, what, where are we at? Where are we at? $60. You got it, Bob. Bob Alway, $60. Slot number 49. All right, now we're going to do lot number 63. 63 is a Mars lander. It's a tunnel recovery. Where's your shirt? <laughs> I'm not wearing my shirt. Okay, number 63. Mars lander, let me see. They're worth at least what? 10 bucks? 10 bucks. I'll take 10 bucks for Mars lander. Come on, John Buckley will give me 10 bucks. How about 20? 20 bucks. 20, yep. 22. 22. He likes that two number. 22. How about 25? Somebody give me 25 bucks for it. Okay, in the back, 25. How about 30? Is it 18 or 24 millimeter? 18 millimeter. How did I know that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, where, where, where were we at? We were at like $25 back there, right? Can we get 30? It's still cheaper than retail. Yeah, they're, what, 50 bucks, right, Aaron? Aaron makes these, the kid in the orange, yeah. orange shirt back there. He makes these things for us. All right, so we're at, what are we at? We're at 30 bucks, right? Right back here? 30 bucks, going once. 
32. 30, of course. <laughs> 32. 32. Can I hear 35 in the back? Come on, 35 bucks. 35 bucks for Mars Lander. Okay, 32 going once. Going twice. Sold. 32 bucks. What was your name? Rick Whitman. Rick Whitman. Joe's dad. <laughs> they were made in the town where his, his uh, son is at. That's interesting. All right. And let's go this way. Who made that? Can you do the noise? Can anybody make the uh, RGD2 noise? I need you up here. Oh, right in <laughs> Hang on a second. And it translates into, it's not my fault. <laughs> yeah, give a hand for that. Yeah. All right. All right. Hey, this is the nice one. This is the big one where the head pops off, right? <laughs> All right. It doesn't come out of his backside. Instead, you know, it pops, the parachute pops out the head. Uh, let's start at 25 bucks. That's just such a uh, a classic kit. Randy, you 25. Convert it to R2D12. R2D12. I don't get it. Never <laughs> mind. Yeah. 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 Zing! All right. Let's quick, quick, make the noise again. I'm tired. <laughs> Ten bucks. I'll take ten bucks for it. Five. Okay, five bucks. I'll take five. You give me ten dollars. Okay, we got ten over here. How about fifteen? Come on, somebody give me fifteen. All right, how about twenty? Come on, Gary, twenty bucks? Yeah. Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. We got twenty? How about twenty-five? I'll take twenty-five from somebody. We got twenty-five right here in the corner. How about thirty? Twenty-five going once. Twenty-five twice. Sold. Twenty-five dollars. Uh, the guy here in the corner, what's your name? Scott Story with an E. Scott, Scott Story with an E. Number 20. Come on, Mike, bet on something. Oh, no. All right, lap number eight. It's a serious rocketry. Uh, what is this? Inter Interceptor G. Interceptor G. Is it Interceptor G? Interrogator. Interrogator G. It's an interrogator G. Absolutely beautiful model. Interrogator G, and that it is. It is a gorgeous model. That's worth 20 bucks to start. 25. 25 bucks to get started. Dave's got 25 on. How about 30? Come on, I gotta get 30 from somebody. $30. Jeff's got 30 on us. 35. 40, Jeff? So it's 29 millimeter, isn't it, guys? It is. Okay. We're, we're at 25. Can I get 30? 28. Who said 28? Oh, Jeff did. Okay, 28. Okay. $30. Thank you. How about 35? 32. 30. <laughs> How about forty dollars? Thirty-five dollars in the back, going once. Forty. Forty dollars over here. How about forty-five? You're still below retail. Forty-five. Yeah, you're below retail. No shipping. Yeah, no shipping too. That's a bonus. Forty-five dollars. Jeff, forty-five. Forty-five on Jeff. How about fifty? Somebody give me fifty. Ryan will give me fifty. How about fifty-five? Okay, Ryan's got it. Going once. Fifty-two. Fifty-two. How about fifty-five? 55 in the back, how about 60? 60 in the back, how about 70? 60, going once, going twice, sold $60 to Ryan Coleman, lot number eight. Uh, Pratt Capsule, lot number 18, and Van account, how many are in there? Uh, and then the four. Next, there's four in there. So that means there's eight capsules. There's eight eggs, eight sides. There's four. There's four half capsules there. Are you sure? There is one, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's the outside. It's done. There are FAI nose cones. Thank you. And how many are there? Times ten. Times ten. Okay, there's ten of them in there. FAI nose cones.
So let's go $10. Who's going to be 10 40 millimeter. How about 20 How about 15 Somebody give me 15 for some FAI nose cones? 15 Back in the bag. How about uh, 20 or 20 bucks. All right, Chris is going to get them for 15. It's going once, going twice, 20 bucks. Steve Humphreys, 20 bucks. How about 25? Come on, somebody give me 25. We don't want to send these home with Steve. He'll just break them. <laughs> 35, is that what you said? 25, 25, 25 from Chris. See, he'll use them, right? <laughs> All right, 25 bucks going once. Come on, Steve. Going twice. $30 from Steve. Chris, Chris, come on, 35. Come on, put them to a good use. Don't let this happen to us. Come on, just think of the FAI. All right, they're going to Steve for 30 bucks. Steve's going once, twice. Sold, Steve Humphreys, $30. Lot number 18. All right, Vanna pick something. Vanna Manda. Oh, uh, Jack Haggerty's not here to sell this stuff this week, so let's, uh, this this is not available anymore, so if you don't have one, tough. I mean, you can get it here. And is it signed? No, it's not. Oh, come on. I'll sign it. All right, not signed. All right. Uh, Jack Haggerty's book for eight number lot number eighty five. Um, let's start with twenty five bucks. Anybody handle twenty five bucks for this beautiful book? Twenty five. How about thirty? Thirty dollars. How about thirty five? What's that? Oh, the book is um, all about um, all the spaceship handbook stuff. So, Amanda, if you open a couple pages up, it's kind of like Rockets of the World for uh, the spaceship enthusiasts. So it's got tons of pictures and stories and all kinds of different things about spaceships. Rather than the factual. Yeah, fictional things rather than factual. So it's all in there. All right, where were we? We were over here at 30. How about 35? 40. How about the $40? I want $40. Come on, somebody give me $40. Jeff's got 40. How about 45? Come on, 45 bucks. Andy, I'm not going to put more information. That book will probably not be reprinted for you. Yeah, that, this is very slim opportunity. Uh, this book is not available. He does not plan on reproducing it. Cheapest you'll get it on eBay is about 90 bucks. 90 bucks on eBay. Jeff's going to get it for 45 Wow. Really 50? 50? 55? 60? 60? 65? 70? 90? Hey! That's a spirit. 92. 92. Yeah, we want it, yeah. Okay. 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 98, we'll throw a special box. Somebody get me 100 and I'll throw the special box in. Isn't that special? Yep, special box. Come on, Jeff, give me 100 bucks. I'm going to let you go home with it. We won't even show anybody else what it is. If you can get it in my truck, I'll take it. Sold, 100 bucks. <laughs> we take, take 100 bucks, right? All right, Jeff, Jeff's got it for 100 bucks. Does he have the book or the box? He gets both. Okay. Give him the box, too. What number is Jeff, the box? What's What's in the box? What number was in the box? Uh, there's 34. Their number 34. Motor. Motor. Okay, we've got some really old All right. liners. Let's go to the next thing, Manda. That's his. He can decide what he wants to do with it. Right. I'm going to get it in his truck. See, that box wasn't that full, so I knew it was good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Hey, Manda, what do you think of this? Can we do this? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, no, you guys boo? Okay. It's a sweet V, it's lot number seven, and uh, this looks pretty cool. I don't know much about it, 
it's before my time, but uh, um, let's, let's, let's throw it out there. Number seven. Number seven. How about uh, 50 bucks? Somebody give me 50 bucks. What is this, an RC glider? Or is yeah, it's a rocket glider. glider. It, it is an RC glider. Okay. 50 bucks. Anybody give me 50 bucks? We got 50 bucks up front. How about 60? $60. Come on, I only want $60 for this beautiful glider. All right, 50 bucks, 60. 60 bucks, can I get 70? Anybody go 70? It's a nice looking glider. 70? 70? Okay, we got 70 up here. How about 80? J, 80? About 20 years old. 80 bucks. Oh, it's older than 20 years old, isn't it? No, it's about 20. It is 20 years old. Okay, where are we at? We're at 80 bucks here. 85? Roger, go 85. $85. Yeah. yeah, Roger, go $85. Okay, $85 going once. Going twice. No one wants to go $90? Sold. Roger Wolfong. $90. And I already have something up front. She, she does kind of run me a little bit. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, hey, it's, this is cool. It's an FSI t-shirt, and is this the new one? This is the new one, right, guys? All right, is this like a first print or something like that? There will be no more of these. There will be no more of these printed. So ones will be different. It's an extra large. It's extra large, so it's, that's, that's a medium to Rocketeers. So that's good. Um, <laughs> Let's go five bucks to get started. Come on, somebody give me five bucks. How about ten? Ten bucks for a really cool t-shirt. We got five already, John. Ten bucks. Yeah, how about ten? Ten. John's going to go ten. How about twelve? Twelve bucks. Twelve bucks. Fifteen. Who's got fifteen? Right there. Fifteen bucks. Randy, what size is it? Extra large. It's an extra large. That'd be a medium rocketeer. Small. I'll go twenty-five. Twenty-five bucks. Okay, we got 25 bucks. How about 30? 30 bucks. We want 30 bucks for a t-shirt. Okay, 25 bucks going once. 25 bucks going twice. Sold. 25 bucks. All right. Bob, what's your last name? Farah. What are we doing, Vanna? Sure. Okay. All right, what line number is this? Lot number 13, this is one of those Estes glider, rocket gliders. What's the name of it? Strato Blaster. What, what is it? Strato Blaster. Strato Blaster. All right, Strato Blaster. Let's go 20 bucks. Anybody give me 20 bucks to get started? We got 20 bucks over here. How about 25? It's RC. 20, 25 bucks. It's an RC unit. 25 bucks over here. How about 30? 30 bucks over here. How about 35? 35, no? 30 bucks going once? 35. 35, how about 40? 40 bucks up front, how about 50? 50 bucks over here, how about 55? 55 bucks, I got 50 over here going once, going twice, 50 bucks, sold. All right, this is lot number 13, I forgot your name. Nick, uh, what's your last name, Nick? Almstead. You guys got that? All right. Grab the other one. Okay, who, who, who bid 50 on the last one? That was $50, right? Anybody else got 50 bucks to throw up for one? Number 12. Lot number 12, same kit. Come on, anybody got 50 bucks? I want 50 bucks for this. Nobody's going to give me 50 bucks. Okay, put it back on the shelf. Go grab something good like that. Uh, Estes um, Mercury Atlas or something like that. Okay, sure. Bring that. Good enough. All right, we got Vanna's got a couple of books here. Uh, Failure is Not an Option by Gene Krantz. And Atlas, The History of a Missile. <laughs> Anyway, 10 bucks. A couple of good books, 10 bucks. 10 bucks, Jeff. How about 15? Uh, no signatures. They're all signed. All right, how about 15? I got 10, how about 15? 10 going once, 
work. 10 going twice, 15. 15 in the back. How about 20? Jeff, go 20. Don't even. 18, of course. 18. Go 20. 20. We want 20 bucks for the books. $18. Jeff Scottman going once, going twice. Sold. All right, $18. Good number. Did you get that, Tom? Right, Jeff? All right, what do we got next, Vanna? Mystery box number one. Mystery box number one. Mystery box is a To be opened by buyer only. <laughs> yeah, okay, another Estes box. Let's go 50 bucks to get started. We got 50, how about 60? 55, 60? We do 60? 60. 60. 70? 65, how about 70? Come on, somebody go 70. 70 bucks right up here. How about 80? 75, how about 80? We got 80 here. How about 90? 90 bucks. I'm looking for 90 bucks. Chris has got it for 80. If not, going once. 85, how about 90? 85 going once. $90 up front. $90 going once. Going twice, sold, $90. Chris Taylor, box number one. All right, um, what, do we, what do we got left here, Amanda, that would be good before we bring our, one of our special guests up? 41. Lot number 41, and lot number 41 has a uh, Hubbardson's um, Swinger. Which actually does fly pretty good. If you get one that all the parts are so good, it does fly well. And we've got a Delta Wedge and a Sky Blaster rocket. Who's the Sky Blaster made by? Anybody know offhand? Mad Science. Mad Science. Oh yeah, it's a Mad Science kit. <laughs> Uh, it's plastic. It's got. Is that the foam or the balls? Of this is foam. the foam one. Okay. This is the foam one. Sorry. If you want a balsa one, call me someday. Um, it's got a tube that's foil. Uh, just a foil tube, like one that Euclid would make, only it's old. Euclid. Yeah, Euclid, the guys in Ohio that make all these body tubes that Estes and everybody else uses. Talk about the old mathematician. Yeah. <laughs> okay, hey, a nice bunch of rockets for 20 bucks. Anybody give me 20 bucks to get started? 20 bucks, nice set of rockets. Okay, how about 15 bucks? Okay, I'll take 10. 10, good, good man. Zach's got it for 10 bucks. Going once, hey. going twice, <laughs> sold, 10 bucks. <laughs> Zach, uh, what's your name, Zach? Frampton. And that was uh, lot number 41. Hey, these were popular last time. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Vanna has a Happy Meal tray, so Capo, you should get on this one first. Where is he? Anyway? 35. It's lot number 35, and the saucer tray looks like it could easily be converted with motors from Estes. Um, the motors are in diamond tubes, and they're one quarter A three fours, and they are A five O S. Somebody, somebody, tell me what O S is. Oh, they're shorty motors. A five shorties. Never seen that before. I'm not that old. Um, <laughs> And an A3OT, so a bunch of mini motors and a shorty. Uh, there's four packs of motors up here, and of course you get the saucer to go with it, so that's a bonus. How about 10 bucks to get started? Okay, we got 10, how about 15? Okay, I got 15, how about 20? Anybody go 20? 20 bucks, 25? 20 bucks, going once. Say what? I'm <laughs> 20 bucks going once, going twice, sold 20 bucks. All right, what was your name? I forgot. Alan, what's your last name? Stoker. Stoker, Alan Stoker. Lot number 35. Are you bringing Vern up? Yeah, Vern. Come on up, Vern. Everybody knows Vern Estes, our pal, right? All right. OK, 
Okay, I brought a few uh, historic items. And um, I don't know if uh, many of you have uh, copies of the Launch Magazine. This was the premier issue. And uh, it has stories about uh, the Estes people and the Centuri uh, organization, some of the very early history. And uh, so this is available. So where's our auctioneer? I'm here. Come on up here. <laughs> All right, and like Bird said, this is a pretty uh, special issue because it's the premier issue of Launch Magazine. I know many of you probably already have this magazine, but if you don't, right now would be the time to get your copy. And uh, you know, you can always ask Bird to sign it. That will just increase its value dramatically. Right? He's getting his pen. So come on, let's go 20 bucks to get started. Anybody give me 20 bucks for a launch magazine? It's the original one. It is a sweet book. It's all color pages, uh, some fantastic articles. What year? What year? Uh, First it issue. Was it? it never really had a date, did it? Oh yeah, September, October 2006. All right, where were we here? 20 bucks, 20 bucks. Can I go 25? Come on, we gotta get 25 out of this thing. 20 bucks going once. 25, Pam Gilmore. How about 30? 30, 30 dollars. How about 35? How about 35 bucks? Come on, come on guys, take it away from the kid for 35 bucks. <laughs> Someone's gotta take it away from the kid. <laughs> So this is the original legal document, and of course, authenticated by Vern that it is the real document. And there's two of them, so this would be a great item to be framing at home. Uh, let's start with 20 bucks. Come on, okay, 20 bucks, how about 25? 25, where's 25, how about 30? 32. 32, of course, 32, how about 40? I want 40 bucks over here, how about 50? 50 bucks for two beautiful documents, 50 bucks. How about $60 for two beautiful documents? Randy, uh, I don't want to misrepresent it. Uh, I believe these are copies actually, but authenticated as being copies of the originals. So it, it, let's start the bidding over or something. I don't want to misrepresent what these are, but they are signed as being authentic copies. Look at it that way, please. All right, we okay with 50 bucks? 50 bucks? We got 50, how about 60? 52. Of course, how about 60, 60 dollars? I got 60 dollars. All right, 60 dollars, going once. 65, how about 70? 70, 75, let me, 72? 72? 75. Okay, where are we at, 70 dollars, going once. $75 over here. How about 80? 80 bucks. 85? How about 90, Steve? 90 bucks. How about 100? 100 bucks. Steve, 110? 
120, 130, 150, 150, 160, 170, 180. Oh, I've been against. This guy in the back scratching his nose. Steve. $200. You go to $200. $250. $250. $250. $250. $250. $250. $250. $250. $250. $250. $250. $250. $250. $250. $250. $250. $250. $250. $250. $250. $250. $250. $250. $250. $250. $250. $250. $250. $250. $250. $250. $250. $
and it was done at the time that the uh, Golden Scout program, that was for the 50th anniversary. So with both of these, I've signed inside of one of them. The other one is uh, one that uh, Glee signed, and it's an outside tube, but the, the two kits and the uh, extra tube. Okay. And let's, let's put Rough that in, that in too. too. Yeah. All right. And this was the uh, Golden Scout kits that many of you bought and participated yeah. in. Where'd they make those for? Oh, I think Simrock made those. <laughs> <laughs> Very good company. <laughs> Did we get that on tape? Is that gone live? Okay, cool. Thanks, Vern. <laughs> right. And I'll tell you, we all miss Carl. He did a great job. Got you. So let's start with 25 bucks for this, this lot. 25, 30, 30, 35. I need 35, 40. Somebody give me 40. 45, 40, 40 bucks. Come on. 35 bucks. 40. Uh, the scout kit has a number. It is 1447. Uh, where are we at? We're at 40 bucks. Somebody give me 40 bucks. 40 bucks over here. About 45. 45, how about 50? Come on, let's break the 50 mark on this one. 50 bucks, 50 bucks up here. How about 60? Somebody give me 60, how about 70? $70, $60, going once, twice, sold, $60, all right. Come on up here, Bob, get these. He's doing the just up. <laughs> All right. Hey, what else you got, Vern? All right, final item. Um, John Schutz uh, worked for us in Denver and ran Mabel. He was one of the early operators. And uh, shortly before he died, he gave me a little box that had some uh, rocket motors in it. And they were made in Denver by Mabel One back in the early days. And I have one of those. I've also saved one for the Museum of Flight, by the way. But uh, this is a half A2 SM. Anybody know what the SM stood for back then? That was for an addition we had, which uh, meant that it produced a smoke. Uh, otherwise, the earlier delays that we had, you could hardly see what uh, see the trail. So anyway, this is a very unique motor now. So. All right, we're going to start the bidding on this one at $100. Oh, $100. How about 110 110 for an original motor from a very long time ago. $110. Bucks. Anybody? No 110s? Oh my gosh, $100. Going once, <laughs> going twice. Thanks, Vern. You sold it to me for 100 bucks. <laughs> Some crazy rocketeer would actually still use it, puts it in a bag, and he brings it to us every year, and we sell it. And there are my hundreds of nose cones in here, and this is not the uh, small selection of nose cones. There's some big stuff in here, too. And this is lot number 28. Those big ones go for 20 bucks. Yeah, yeah, I can tell you how much this balsa is worth. <laughs> it's still in the stick. Uh, anyway, let's start this thing at 50 bucks. This is this is a modeler's dream. I mean, if you have not dreamed balsa wood yet, this is, this will get you to dream about balsa wood. Okay, fifty dollars right up front here. Who's going to take this sweat this deal away from this kid here? Sixty. Okay, seventy. Seventy. Come on, seventy. Eighty. 80 bucks, 80 bucks. How about 90 bucks? 90, how about 100 bucks? 100 bucks, how about 110? 
110 bucks. I'm waiting for these two to both raise their hands at the same time. <laughs> Come on, Mike. 110 bucks. 110. How about 120? 130. You want 130 bucks for it? There's some beautiful wood in there. I mean, there's better scrap than Semrat comes up with. Oh! Oh! 125. How about 130? 130. How about 140? 140 in the back. How about 150? 150 bucks. Come on, Dad. You gonna do it? 150 bucks. It's a lifetime supply. 150 bucks. How about 160? 160. I'm looking for 160. How about 170? 170 bucks. I'd like to send it home for 170. I'm gonna send it home for 160. 165. 165. 165. Going once. 175. 175. Going once. 180. 180. Go 185. 190. Go to 190. Come on, Pam. Just do it. It's not 190. 200 bucks. Okay, 195. 200. You'll do 200. 210. 205. 205. We're getting we're getting close to the end. 205. Go 210. Come on. Go for it. Vern will make it into good stuff. 220. We're at 210. Why don't you go to 220? 215. 215, of course. How about 220? 220. 225 to you. 225. 225. 230? I'll do this all night. It's five bucks a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Got quite a selection. <laughs> I think Pam wins. Two, no, we're at 235 back here. So he it's 240. Know. Oh, he doesn't know. <laughs> Vanna, show it to him. <laughs> let him sniff it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let him sniff it. <laughs> 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 240. 240. She sniffed it and it's 240. Havana, go back there and let them sniff it. $240. Divide it in half. $240. No, we're going to stop. Pam, you got it for $240. Going once. Yay! Going twice. So, Pam Gilmore. $240. It, it's, she's hug, up here hugging it like a teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> All right, great. I've got lot number 77 here. Uh, they are sure shot igniters. Um, there is. How many, how many <laughs> there are 12 packages of igniters. There's six igniters to a package. These are the old Sure Shots. Uh, they were found uh, in a basement, sealed in a basement. They're in good condition. They actually work. Sure Shots so, they, um, the real ones. The real ones. So is this the Sure Shot one then? Does anybody know? Is this one? Yeah, it looks like the real one. I don't think they were. If they don't say Sure Shot two, it's yours. I'm sure these are Sure Shot ones. Yeah, they are. Yep. In the paper bag? Uh, yep, sure shot dot. IG-12. Oh my, I'm wrong. There are 12 to a bag. I had forgotten this. There's 12 to a bag, and there are uh, 12 bags. That's 144 igniters. Okay, let's start at $50. If I give me 50 bucks, 144 really good igniters. Okay, how about 25 bucks? Okay, we got 25. 30? 25 bucks. Going to, I want 30. $30? No, but $30 to Roger. How about 35? 35. Go 40, Roger? 45? Yep, 50? We wanted the 50. Thanks, Roger. See, the guys from Michigan, they'll do that. Okay, how about 55, Chris? Now, 50 bucks going once, 50 bucks going twice. So, Roger Wolfong, uh, 50 bucks. Oh, this is kind of cool. I wonder who made this. 
Uh, this is a space plane. So this is, Lita, you're the national champion when this was out, right? Originally. Originally. So this was one of the first national champions at uh, DARAM, and it was Lita Esta. She flew this rocket called the space plane. And this is kit production number 148, and it's lot 17. And I'd like uh, 10 bucks for that. 10 bucks. 10 bucks. How about 15? 15, how about 20? 20 bucks, 25, 25. 25 bucks for a space plane. 30, 30 dollars. How about 35 for a space plane? 32. 32, of course. <laughs> so how about 35? 32 going once, 35. How about 30, how about 40? No, 35 going once, 35 going twice. So, 35 dollars. No more for that. as a Tuesday evening uh, event. We flew about 25, 30 of them. They're pretty cool. Randy. Yes. The controller with the dull tree. Oh, yeah, yeah, the other package right next to it. Thanks, Jeff. All right, it's lot number 78, and there are four Micromax rockets. Uh, no motors, but a controller, which is a really con good, cool controller. And let's start this at 10 bucks. We'll go for 10 bucks. 10 in the back. How about 15? Fifteen dollars. How about twenty? Twenty bucks. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. How about thirty? Come on, thirty dollars. No, no motors. All right, twenty. Twenty-five dollars. Going once. Going twice. Thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. How about thirty to thirty-five? Hey, Vern, thirty-five. Go for it. Thirty dollars. Going once. Thirty-two. Thirty-two dollars. Going once. How about thirty-five? Come on, give me thirty-five, gang. All right, $32, going once, going twice, sold, Dave Gilmore, $32. You have to do a lot of whittling to get those notes out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have a comeback for that one, that's good. Pam look, took one look at Dave and says, I gotta do a lot of whittling to get those no guns down to that size. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, what do we got here? That is a maniac from Estes. That's been out of production for a little while. It is lot number 62, and I'd like to go 10 bucks for the maniac. Anybody 10 bucks on the maniac? It's plastic. It's, uh, <laughs> listen to me, it's plastic. <laughs> All right, how about five bucks? Come on, five. five bucks, there's five. Okay, how about 10? Okay, we got, how about 15? Will you go 15? How about 20? 20 bucks, Dave, 20? 15 bucks, going once, going twice, sold, $15, awesome. Go get that airplane again. <laughs> All right, last time we talked here, folks, we got 50 bucks, and I thought, you know, if somebody wants that for 50 bucks, we'll sell it to them for 50 bucks. So anybody give me 50 bucks now? All right, go put it back on the wall. How many are in here so we can look at it? We're running out of money. Um, okay, this is lot number 11. There we go. There we go. See, this is, the, this is what you guys want. That glider stuff, that's for... Glider. The glider guys, right? Uh, wow, what is this? It's dusty, too. Nice, came right out of somebody's basement. It is a Maxi Honest John from Estes. You'll never see this produced again. It's not empty, is it? Oh, let's check. Yeah, we, let's be careful. It did, it did seem kind of white. Everything is in there. Mm. Okay, they're, uh, if you didn't know, they're uh, vacuum form fins. Uh, the body tube looks fantastic, and the plastic parts are all good. Nose cones. Um, yep, parachute's made in China. Um, a few other loose items in here. 
Yeah, don't use that. <laughs> the instructions are on here. So it looks like it could all be here. Oh, no, I didn't see centering rings. I don't see centering rings. Oh, centering rings are here. Okay, I was going to say they'd have to order those from Samurai. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, yeah, I think the decals are. Yeah, the decals are in here, and they're they're white too. So they're they're printed on uh, on that plastic sticker stuff. But it's a whole kit, and that's worth probably fifty bucks. Start fifty bucks. Somebody give me fifty bucks. Just get it rolling. Come on, I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it beyond fifty. Steve, come on. Emma, Emma would love this. They go for 100 online. Yeah, they go for over 100 online. They do. They do. Anybody give me 50? Okay, I'll take 40. 40. $40, great. How about 45? All right, $40 going once. 42. 40, 40, 42, of course. That's the answer. <laughs> How about 45? Come on, Steve. 45? 50? Come on, Dave, go 50 all the way. Okay, 45 going once. 50 bucks in the back. Okay, good job. How about 55? It's over three feet tall. It does not pull the Viper Really? It does not? No. Oh, it's not. Yeah, but is it diameter wise? Isn't it VT 101? Oh, is it a special tube? Lower? Okay. Wow, that's, that's something else. I never expected that. All right, we were at $50. Can I get 60 from somebody? I want $60. $50 going once, $50 going twice, sold, 50 bucks, Tom Ha. All right, here's a, an older Maxi Alpha 3. Uh, nice looking kit, it's got plastic fins. Uh, let's start this off at five bucks. D motors, five, how about 10? I'd like 10 bucks for this. $15. Nice job. Little bugger's photogenic, too. Yeah? Seems out nice. How about, how about putting 20 bucks up for that beautiful photo? No? 15? <laughs> I got 15. Oh, where, where was it, Bob? 15? Yep. Yep. Going once. 15 going twice. Sold. $15. <laughs> Bob, what was the lot number on that box? The box. Lot 61. This is box number four. Oh, box number four just popped up. Where'd this come from? Okay, 25 bucks. 25 bucks per box. How about 30? 50. $50. How about 60? $60. How about 70? 70, come on Ryan, 70 bucks, good. You need some parts anyway, 70 bucks. How about 75? 75, 80? 80? 80 bucks, 75, 80 bucks going, okay, how about 85? 85? Yeah, yeah, 85. Okay, 80 bucks going once, 80 bucks going twice. Stole by Ryan Coleman for 80 bucks! What lot number is this? Give it to Ryan over there. All right. You killed it, dude. <laughs> you murdered it. Dead, Jim. <laughs> what a deposit. Number nine. Number nine. Yes. The ever sought after uh, Mercury Atlas from Estes. Number nine. Okay, let's start at 50 bucks. Who give me 50 bucks for this beautiful piece? How about the 60? $60. $60, how about 70? 70, 65, how about 70, Jeff? 70, how about 75? 75 bucks, no? Okay, 65, $70. So $70 going once. $75. $75. All right. How about 80? Somebody give me 80 bucks for that. 80 bucks. How about 85? Look for 85 bucks. $80. Going once. Going twice. Sold. 80 bucks. What a steal. Holy smokes. All right. Amanda's going to take care of that while I uh, get this other glider out. Lot number 10 is another glider. Astro Blaster. That's a nice one. Is this the nice one? 
Ooh, okay. I don't know if it's all here. I'm hoping it is. I have this one. Oh, yeah, this is a brand new kit. The box is a little beat up, but it is a brand new kit. Challenger series. Ooh. This is scary. You know, this has balsa wood in it that hasn't been die cut or or laser cut. It's got wire cut foam cores that you wrap the balsa around. Yeah, and, and the foam, it's all here. I mean, it's brand new. All right, kit. it's a builder's kit, 50 bucks. 40 bucks. $40, great. How about, okay, how about 50? Come on, I want 50 bucks for it. All right, 45, 50 bucks. How about uh, 60 bucks? Cost more than that new. 60 bucks. Can't get those new. Oh, to make it yourself? Yeah, you got it. Okay, we're at 55 bucks. How about 60? 55 going once. 55 going twice. $60. How about 65? $65. No, 60 going once. Going twice. Sold, $60. Is this the one we keep bringing up? Yeah. Okay, we'll just leave it back here. All right, hey, we're getting to the end of stuff here. I hey, got a couple of books, an ETV model book. You're not even close to the end. What's that? You're not even close to the end. Oh, that's hardly nothing. You guys are going to buy that up in no time. <laughs> All right, we got a couple of books. Uh, scale Spacecraft Modeling. It's got a Saturn V and a bunch of other things on the very front. Ooh, it's in color. Ooh. And uh, so that looks nice. And what's that one, Amanda? It fell out the binding, but it's an EVT model book. All right, very good. How about five bucks? Five bucks here. How about 10? 10. How about 15? 15. 15. How about 20? 20 bucks over here. About 25. 20 bucks going once. 20 bucks going twice. 22. 22, of course. 22. All right, do I hear 25? 22 going once. 22 going twice. Sold. 22 bucks. Ah, oh, I've never seen these before either. All right. We have got some original Centuri kits, the Star Trooper. Did they get the signal? Yes. Okay. <laughs> We've got a little Ivan. And we have got the uh, Saber. All Centuri originals. They look uh, pretty sharp. Hey, we got to start that at $10. $10. Come on, somebody give me $10 for those old babies. $10. How about $15? How about 20? I want 20 bucks. 20 bucks for three beautiful rockets. Right, so good. You have to build them. 20 bucks. Yeah, you got their real builders rockets again. Okay, how about 25? I want $25. Okay, go on for 20 bucks. Steve Crystal going once, going twice. Sold. 20 bucks. Steve Crystal. Lot 37 is. EM20 engine mounts, brand new, looks like a four pack, and also reducers. Uh, these are number seven to number tens. Show those off, Anna. Oh, those are beautiful. Come here. Come here. <laughs> 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 Hey. All right, I sniff clean, brand new balsa every day. That stuff is moldy. <laughs> That's got to be 40 years old. Uh, anyway, a couple of classic uh, Centuri items. Uh, give me five bucks and I'll let you take them home. Five bucks. Somebody give me five bucks. A couple of parts. Five. Five bucks. Good choice. Anybody give me ten? Five bucks going once. Ten. Where's ten? Steve? Uh, how about fifteen, Dave? 
No? Okay, Steve's gonna take him home for 10 bucks. Going once, going twice. Steve Humphreys, 10 bucks. Hey, number 37. This is lap 45. We got a couple of books. Um, rockets and missiles. Um, oh my gosh, it's uh, A. Dallin Van Ripper. I have never heard of him. Okay, and uh, Tony Osman, Space History. So a couple of space books there. Can, we, can I get five bucks for those? How about 10? 10, how about 15? How about 20? Come on, I want 20 bucks for these. All right, 15 bucks, going once, going twice. Sold, 15 bucks, lot 45. Get that Tyler and Thomas. Okay, lot 65, a Mercury Redstone. Ooh, this is kind of cool because, nope. No, not as cool as I thought. One dog. Uh, this is this has got the balsa wood you got to cut out yourself. Uh, but anyway, it's a mercury redstone. I'll take five bucks for it. Anybody give me five? Okay, give me four. Three, two, two, two bucks. Sure. Two bucks. Okay, three bucks. No, you don't want a mercury redstone? Okay, five, three, we got five bucks over here. Dave's gonna give me five bucks, that's good. Six. Six, how about Dave, seven? How about 10? 10. 10, how about 12? That was 11. 11, I'll take 11, I'm not proud. Is that the BT60 one or the two inch one? Uh, that is the two inch one. Just like the one that's currently out. All right, where were we at, seven? 10, no, we were at 10, weren't we? 12? 11. 11, okay, 11. 12. Come on, 12, how about 13? No, 12, 12 bucks going once, 12 bucks going twice, sold, 12 bucks, Dave Gilmore. All right, I hate these. These are old motors. Will somebody give me 20 bucks on sight unseen? 20 bucks, 25? Will you give me 25, Chris? Oh, you said 20. <laughs> 25? You'll give me 25? How about 30? 30. How about 35? $30. Lot number 56. $30. I want 35. Anybody give me 35? $35. 40, Bob? Go 40. Say what? 38. $38. I'll take 39. Okay, 39. 40 bucks? Sure. Okay, 40 bucks. 40 bucks going once. 40 bucks going twice. Sold, $40, Bob Caplo. 56. 56. Bring some more motors, man. That was actually fun. Bob, did you get anything good out of that? Tell me it's full of B14s. Oh, yeah. <laughs> B37, same thing. B37, wow. I got a bunch of those already. Uh, Bob. Come on, reality. You have a bunch of everything already. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna tell you a little more about these motors. There's a couple of Cox motors here. Uh, what is this? Uh, Centuri motors, the early days. A um, couple of Estes motors, I can't see what they are. Here's a C46. There's two C, no, there's a D44. And the only way I know it is somebody actually wrote it on the side of the package because you can't read half the writing anyway. Anyway, there's two, four, six, eight, nine motors here. Nine motors for five bucks? How about 10? How about five bucks? Going once? Seven. Eight bucks. Okay, nine? Nine. 10? 10, yeah, 10. How about 12? <laughs> the, the boys are up here bidding against each other, so I don't know. <laughs> 12 bucks. How about uh, 15? 12 bucks. 15? 15 bucks going once, going twice. Sold, 15 bucks. All right. What number is that? 
Those all go together. These all go together. This is all lot 52. All right, a bunch of old nose cone like any collector would have, including a couple of egg capsules, um, a bunch of miscellaneous um, couplers and stuff like that. Um, what every modeler needs, um, 25 odd fins that broke off of previous rockets and never got glued back on. And here's the magic bag. Here's a bunch of nose cones that are good, uh, that look like they were never used. And what in the world is this? This is uh, vacuum form fins to what? Whatever you attach them to. Uh, <laughs> Randy's Nerum 59 scale model. To a rocket. They go to a rocket. They're uh, little vacuum form fins. God help me. They're probably, they might make good contest fins, uh, if nothing else. Anyway, um, and there's some foam pieces. They look like glider wings. They're all contoured, uh, except that one. Anyway, we got a whole bunch of that stuff. How about 10 bucks? 10 bucks. Every modeler's got to have it. Good job, Roger. How about 15? Somebody give me 15 for the lot? All right, Dana, throw in a special box. Uh-oh. Dana? The last one. Uh-oh, this is the last special box? Okay, where are we at, Roger? It's $15 right now? I'm going to, for $15, I'm going to throw in the box. Well, does anybody want to go 20 right now? 20 bucks up here. Roger, you going to go 25? Believe me, it's worth it. 25. 25. Okay. okay. How about 30? 30 dollars. 35. 35. How about 40? 40 dollars. All right. Vanna already got the first item out of the box. It's a plastic bag. And it's got a smiley face on it. It is a bag from. Have a nice day. That'd make a great picture. That'd make a great picture. Okay. Uh, where are we at? Forty dollars? Forty-five, Roger? Forty-five. Fifty, Chris? No? Roger, forty-five dollars. Okay, I'm gonna get fifty from somebody else. I'm sorry, Raj. Uh, fifty bucks and inside the bag, besides it's not a booby prize, it's actually a whole bunch of thread for making parachutes. <laughs> so this is perfect to go along with this charming gift. And Whoa, that, what was that? <laughs> Why that was Vanna. That was Vanna. Who's bidding? Alright, who's bidding? Fifty dollars, we'll show you what it is. Fifty dollars. Zach is smart. Fifty dollars. And he gets to look and see what it is. And what is it, Zach? It is a bunch of body tubes. Very nice. You can show everybody. All right, body tube centering rings. Everything a modeler needs. Did I hear 50? Wait a minute, 52? Wait a minute, where's all the guys that were doing the choosies? 52? Come on, somebody give me 52. 52, how about 55? 55, 60. Randy, are those all CMR tubes? I think they're number sevens. Uh, it looks like they could be Century tubes. It's really for you, they are. Um, are they white? No. Yeah, they're glassine, but they, they're so old that they kind of crush a little bit. They might be Centauri tubes. So they look like number sevens or number eights. All right, where were we anyway? We're at $55 over here. How about $60? $60. Nope, no $60. $55 going once. $55 going twice. Pack it up for Zach. He's got it for 55 bucks. That's a nice score, If man. you can't build any rockets with that stuff, you call me. Yeah. <laughs> we'll sell you some more. All right, what number is this? Six. Six, lot six. Do we have any more? Oh, gosh, there's more here. 50 bucks. 50 bucks. Ryan Coleman, you go. You got yours already, didn't you? Who didn't get one? 50 bucks. 55. How about 60? 60. How about 65? How about 70? 75? 70? 70 going once? 72. 74. 75. How about 80? Go ahead. No. No? $75 in the back. Going once? 76. 76. He still wants it. How about 77? 76 going once, 
Going twice. Sold. 76 bucks. <laughs> All right. What's your name? <laughs> Dave what? Cook. Dave Cook. Dave Cook. All right. <laughs> oh, I like this one. This is lot 69. It's a uh, old python. This is a great kit. It's a nice tall kit, uh, kind of scaly looking. And let's start that off at 10 bucks. 10 bucks, anybody? Come on, D power. Five bucks? Wow, five bucks in the back. How about 10? 10? How about 15? 10 bucks up front. 10 bucks going once. 15. 15 in the back. Go 20. It's worth it. 20 bucks. Nice and heavy plastic fins. 20 bucks. 25, Tom? All right, 20 bucks. 20 bucks going once. Twice, sold, 20 bucks. All right, bye. What's your name? What's your name? Mike Fisher. Mike Fisher. Mike Fisher, 69. Mike Fisher. Yeah. All right. Um, Project Mercury, it's a four cent stamp, framed nicely. Um, Cape Canaveral um, postage marked off. And it was from February 20th, 1962. Looks like so it's the first day edition. It's, yeah, it's the first day edition. Is this, um, this is not John Glenn, is it? Oh, okay, John Glenn. All right, it's an original, it's in a frame, and it's lot number 31. And let's go 10 bucks for this. Anybody give me 10 bucks? 10 bucks? Okay, 10 in the back, how about 15? $15, 10 bucks. 10 bucks going once, 15 in the front. How about 20? $20, 25? 25, we got 25 over here. 25, go 30, $30. $30, do I hear 35? No, no 35, $30. Going 35 in the back, 31 in the back. How about 32? Yeah, 32, 33. <laughs> All right, $32 going once, $32 going twice, $33, $34, uh, yeah. Of course he's going $34, $35, yeah, go ahead, $35, $35, how about $36, how about $40, $35 going once, $36, $36, how about $37, yeah, he likes the two numbers, $37, how about $38? 38? Come on, go ahead. 38. $37. 37 going once. 37 going twice. Sold. 37 bucks. 31. Couple of plastic models. A. Yeah, we're going to be careful not to rip it up too much, but. Uh, um, somebody read Russian that can help me? Buran. Oh, it is a Buran, isn't it? Hey, and this one's not all full of dust and crap laying on it either. It looks like it was on the pad. And then the other one is a Sputnik. Plastic models. Uh, 10 bucks. Anybody go 10 bucks for a couple plastic models? How about 15? We go 15? 20? 20 bucks. 25? 20 bucks. 20 bucks going once, 20 bucks going twice, 22, 25, 22 bucks going once, 25, 25 going once, going twice, sold, 25 bucks. Number 22, All right, what do you want to do next, man? The book. All right. And book of model rocketry. Is this a first edition? G. Harry Stein. Oh, there it is. First edition handbook of model rocketry, library edition with wonderful cover from 1965. Is it is it signed? It is not signed. It is a G. G. Harry Stein first edition, though. Hard cover. Um, let's start that at fifty dollars. They give me fifty bucks for that book. Hundred dollars. Thank you. Hundred dollars. How about hundred twenty? Years later, they hit your off. Looking for hundred ten. Come on, hundred ten dollars, folks. Okay, hundred dollars going once. 
Going twice, sold, 100 bucks. Ted Cochran. Okay, line number 70 is another Python. What did we let this sell for last time? 20 bucks? So let's go 10 for this one. 10. 10 bucks for another Python. 10 bucks. How about 15? You go 20, Tom? 20. 25? No, 20 bucks. 20 bucks going once. Twice, sold, Tom Hobb, 20 bucks, tight nine. Okay, we got this glider here. I know we've had a lot of gliders today. I love 50 bucks for this thing. Will somebody give me 50 bucks? Two bucks. Will somebody give me 50 bucks? It's worth $50. Three bucks. Bob, you're gonna give me $50? Thank you. All right, can I get 51? Okay, 50 bucks going once. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on, somebody give me $51. 52, what happened to 52? Yeah, <laughs> yeah listen to Vanna. Okay, $50 going once, going twice, sold. 50 bucks. Okay, Vanna, set me up here, girl. Three people. <laughs> a Battlestar Galactica Viper. Plastic model. Yeah, it's not suitable for flying. It flies worth it. I mean, it's not very convertible. Original is thirty dollars. Yes, it is. Size right there. They convert very yeah. well. Do they? Yeah. Oh, I thought I looked at this and it didn't convert well. Okay, Battlestar Galactica Viper. Uh, five bucks. 10 bucks, how about 10? Somebody give me 10. 10 bucks, how about 15? 15 dollars, 20? 20 dollars, I'm looking for 20 dollars. 15 dollars to Tom, going once, going twice, sold, 15 dollars, Tom. All right, what's next, Vanna? Uh, we got a couple of rockets here. This is lot 17. Um, whoops. Okay, they're aging. They're they're aging. Yeah, we'll give you a discount. Five bucks. Give me five bucks, I'll let you take them home. Five bucks. All right. Anybody else give me more than five bucks? Forty-seven. That's a bike. Forty-seven. No, that's a bike. Who's wearing these? All right, I'm at five bucks. Anybody give me six? And these were Dick's rockets. All right, five bucks. Going once. Going twice. Sold. Dave's got them for five bucks. Okay, this looks like this is lot 72. Don't drop those, Randy. Am I worried about the motors or just the plastic cases? Yeah, these are minis. Whose are they? I can't even tell. Well, that's because it's foreign to me. I don't know who they're from. Um, RM. Are these Russian? No. Don't. Uh, no, it's like uh, maybe Czech. They look like they Czech. Are, Czech. are they Czech motors? CSSR. CSSR. That's Czech. Okay. So we got Czech motors. We've got uh, six, twelve of them. Twelve Czech motors, not quite sure what size they are since I don't read. I, I can tell you what they are. Yeah, please. I have quite a few of them. Let's see. Just, if you take a look on the ends here, they'll... All right, so they're 2.5. They're 2.5. So that means uh, they're. Uh, they're A motors. They're A motors, yeah. right? Yep. Okay. We got little A motors from Czechoslovakia. Okay, let's take uh, five bucks for those. Steve, what are they worth? Probably nothing because it's a little light. So Steve's going to take them off our hands for five dollars, right? Okay. All right. How about Somebody, you give them 10? $10. They're worth $10. Yeah. 
Okay, how about 15? 15, I can make them white. Okay. <laughs> okay, $15 going once. $20 over here, how about 25? 25, we'll take 30. If you, put, if you bid it, we'll take it. 25 bucks here. Vern. Those are motors that uh, Glenn and I got uh, when we were in uh, Czechoslovakia, I believe, uh, way back in about 1960 something or another. I don't know. Okay, motors bought by Vern and Glenn. 30. See, it just went up. It just went up. Okay, how about 35? I think it's 60. I'm not that, that old, I'm not sure I can get them to light. <laughs> okay, we're at $30. 35 35 How about 40 40 dollars $35 over here. Going once? 37 How about 40 Yeah, $40. How about 45 $45. Mark, no. $40. Going once? Going twice? Sold for $40. You got Bob down? All right, we've got a uh, little Mercury Red Star, or no, a uh, little Joe. Little Joe, little Joe too. Uh, boy, does anybody know the story on this? It's a little plastic model, and it looks like it can hold an A motor. Who would ever put something like that in there? Must be. What is it? Did they really? And, and it flew? Yeah, okay, okay. So this could be modified by an experienced rocketeer. This is lot 48, and I want five bucks for that. That has to be early 70s. Early 70s. Five bucks? Five bucks. How about 10? 10? 15? 15. How about 20? $20 up here. You want to take it away from this kid for $25? I got a kid up here that wants it for $20. Bucks. You have to take it away from him for $25. All right. See, they have no heart, do they? All right, $25, bucks, Bob. Okay, how about $30? $27. Bob, $30? Yep, $30. $32. How about $35? $40. $40. 42, right? Yeah, 42, right? For a good call. $40. $40 going once, going twice, sold. 40 bucks. Uh, Bob. Bob Sanford. What are you pointing to? Okay, 48. Ooh, I love this rock. All right, we've got a SWAT. Uh, it's an Estes kit. It's lot 75. Um, oh my, it's this nice has been kit. reproduced many times, hasn't it? Um, this has got a lot of little fancy doodads. Uh, Van, I'll show this around a little bit so that people can see. Uh, it's a cool kit. Yeah, it's a cool kit. That probably we should start at uh, $5 <laughs> and see what we can get out of that thing. Anybody give me $5 for the SWAT? Great, how about 10? 10, how about 15? Yep, 20? $15 going once, $15 going twice, sold, 15 bucks. He was bidding. Oh, you're bidding in the study, Chris. I'm sorry, was, was he really bidding? In a I'm sitting here waving in front of you like this. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry, Chris, I'll sell you something else. Sorry. Okay, $15 right over here. What was your name? You Speak up. Marty. Okay, Marty. Marty, what's your last name? Olmstead, right? All right. His dad's fit fitting too, so put him on the same bill. That dad's going to buy, I know, right? All right. A uh, couple of plastic models. I'll pay more attention to Chris this time. Uh, we've got a Nike Hercules and a Ravel uh, X15. With tanks. Oh, with tanks. 27. It's lot number 27. Oh, it has something else. It's got tanks on the bottom. <laughs> All right, uh, five bucks. Ten bucks. Looking for ten. Twenty. Twenty bucks. How about twenty-five? Twenty-five bucks. Couple kids. How about thirty? Thirty. Thirty bucks. How about forty? Forty. Forty-five. Dave, forty-five. No, forty dollars going once, forty gone twice, sold forty dollars. John Buckley. All right, we've got. Oh, good thing that was carpet. Those 
went down at. This is why you don't touch things. Yeah, murder Dennis them. told me don't touch the merchandise. All right, we have a round blue tube and two diamond tubes. We've got A80s and 80 and what are those? Shorties. Shorties. Shorty series three. Um, one half A six O S shorties. How many shorties are in a box? Like three, five, three. three. Oh, is there only three in there? No. All no right. Shorties. He only dropped two out of the three. They were great. Yeah, I know. I love them. Astro igniters, better than what you can buy today. All right, five dollars for a cool pack, three packs of motors. Five dollars. Forty. Forty. Five dollars. How about ten? 10, Bob. Bob wants them for 10. How about 15? 15? 20, anybody? $15. Going once. Going twice. Sold. $15. All right, Bob does this for you. Bob Justice brought bought a big van to Narnia. What is that? It's an iTag. Lost in theft device. It's an iTag. You have to have an iPhone for that? No. It's Android compatible. It is Android compatible. I really? Don't, I don't use it on all It's just a Bluetooth ID tag. <laughs> okay, it's a Bluetooth ID tag, so it's got a range of about, about what, 25 feet? Well, up to 100 feet, depending 100 on the device. Okay, but it doesn't really tell you position or direction. Uh, no position, no direction. Okay, who wants to try that thing for five bucks? You know it's going in a rocket, right? <laughs> five bucks. Anybody give me five bucks for it? Okay, how about we throw a bunch of motors in with it? And we'll do lot number lot number 36 is a bunch of motors in a plastic tote. Yeah, what are they? They are B46s, FA43M, A34M, uh, those are the long, those are long, aren't they, guys? Yep. Ooh, FSI motors, still in the package. Are these for you guys? ones or 18? These are, um, they're old FSI. D44. The blue Centuri packs might have sure shots in them. Yes. Okay, there might be sure shots in here, huh? Not in there. Oh, in the van. Oh yeah, sure for sure they would. Yeah. All right, so I see some uh, 20 motors up here. Uh, 10 bucks. 10 bucks here. How about 15? 20. 20? 25? Anybody give me 25. $20. Dave's going to get them for $20 if somebody doesn't jump up. They're going in the museum. Yeah. Yeah. They really are. $20 going once. Going twice, sold, 20 bucks. To the guys from FSI, buying back their own motors. <laughs> uh, nice keep command controller. Anybody got one of these? Still using them? They're pretty good, right? I have one. All right, let's start at 25 bucks. We'll give you 25 bucks for what looks like a brand new one. You just need an RC battery. 7.2 volt battery pack. You have two RC batteries. Oh. Which means they're run off. It's not even open, so I can't look to see if it's new. Which means brand new. They're run off lithium. 25 bucks. Come on, I want 25 bucks. All you need is a couple of lithium batteries, and you're good again. That's my $10. Roll the rest of the seven. It's new. $10. How about I know where it came from? It's used? No, it's new. It's new. Okay, what'd you say, Bob? $10. $10. I got $10. I'm going to let it go for $10, bucks, gang. You may give me $15. $10 going once. $15.20? I want $20. I got $15. Going once, going twice, sold. $15. Nice. Uh, for Jeff? Good deal. I'm sorry, who's this going to? Uh, Jeff Corbell. Corbell. Um, okay, somebody made a bunch of fins. All right, mystery bag, 20 bucks. Oh, also and bass what? Your bana, 20 bucks. Oh, 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 here we go. Uh, this is like a 
modeler who had some extra nose cones. And I don't know, what are these? Is that a ball? Ball and walk me in those codes. Yeah. Yes. So it's like somebody setting up to turn their own nose codes. You put that like on Oh. Somebody was going to turn their own nose codes. There's a bunch of them already set up. All right. And a bunch of other little balsa pieces. Um, some basswood. Oh, lots of basswood. Look at all the basswood. Okay, 10 bucks. Anybody give me 10 bucks for a bunch of wood? Want to come up and look at it? You can. 10 bucks, 10 bucks, 15? How about 20? 20, Roger? No, $15 to Roger? Anybody else? $20, $15 to Roger, going once. $20, how about 25? $20, going once, twice. So, $20, Zach's got another prize for his workshop. All right, I got a Semrock Saturn 1B. Fresh, fresh off the presses. Semrock Saturn, too damn many. <laughs> Semrock Saturn 1B. Ten dollars. <laughs> thank, thank you, Bob. Thank you, Bob. Eleven. Eleven. Can some, will someone please give me twelve for this? If you sign it. Twelve. <laughs> I'm not paying. I, I want $12 for the Canon fund. How much, Roger? 50, 50, not census dollars. 15, 1, 5. Okay, I'll take 15. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Okay, 20. Anybody give me 20? 20 bucks. How about 25? 25 bucks. 25 bucks. How about 30? 30. $30. I want $30. 25 bucks. Who had $25? You did, right? Who had 25 bucks back there? You had 25? You had 25. Okay, 30? 30. How about 35? No? 35? $30. Going once? Going twice? 35. $40? $40. $45? No? $40. Going once? Going twice? Sold. 40 bucks. What's your name? I didn't hear you. Scott Story. Scott Story. With an e. Got it? All right. What? It's a gun case, right? Is this really an option item? Wow. Matt Johnson? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Matt Johnson's not here to buy this, so. From Todd Schwine. He's got a railroad. He filled it full of kids and things that he donated. Oh! And so it truly is empty. And we're donating a case too, so. Okay. I can't I can't quite get it open, but it's a it's a nice case on wheels. Very heavy duty. What's inside? Um it will hold a 34 inch tube, no problem. And it's on wheels. Or a small A divisioner? Nothing. Yes, a small A divisioner would fit in one of these. How tall is that case? What's the length? I want to say 40 inches. Is it 4 feet? Not quite. I bet the inside's not four feet, though. Yeah, it's four feet. Inside is four feet. I'm five two, so this is four feet. <laughs> All right, ten bucks. I am wearing heels. I'm probably five feet. Okay, fifteen. Fifteen dollars. I want fifteen dollars for it. Okay, how about twenty? Twenty-five? Thirty? Anybody give me thirty? Got twenty-five. Thirty bucks. How about forty? $40, how about 50? $50, how about 60? $60, how about 70? How about 80? How about 90? How about 100 bucks? 100 bucks, it's worth 100 bucks. 110, how about 120, Tom? 110. He's got to get stuff home. 110, 120, 130. You want 130? 130? Yeah. Okay, 140, Tom? 130 bucks. You can't buy them for that, you know. Okay. Yeah. That's a $250 case. $140. Going once. Going twice. Sold. $140. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Lot 84 is next, and lot 84 is an old motor. Um, 
It is a Hurricane Rocket Motor Scientific Amateur Supply Company, model number BE 3.5 2 0. 12 inches. What's the speaker? Looks like 12. 84 is the number, is the lot number. Okay, uh, I don't know much about it, but it's a motor and I would like $5 for it. Is it, uh, who made it? It is made by Scientific Amateur Supply Company. In Ogden, Utah. And it's got writing on it like it's from the 1970s. Is it Brown Phenolic? Uh, yes, it's Brown Phenolic. Five dollars. Five dollars. Give me ten. That's a Prodine. Ten dollars. What is that? Same kind of, Prodine. Same kind of cases that the FSI Thunderbolt had. All right, I'm at ten dollars somewhere here. How about fifteen? Anybody give me fifteen? See, Bob, you bid ten, right? All right, ten dollars going once, twelve dollars. How about fifteen? Uh, there's fifteen right here, fifteen dollars. How about twenty? Anybody give me twenty bucks for it? Sixteen. Sixteen dollars. Who said that, Dave? Oh, sorry, Bob. Seventeen. Uh, Sixteen dollars going once, going twice. Twenty dollars. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Twenty twenty-five, Bob? Come on, you don't have this motor. Do you? Bob, tell the truth. Twenty-one. <laughs> That's an answer of no. Twenty twenty-two, Mark? Mark, come on, twenty-two. Okay, 23, Bob? Will it blow up if I light it? <laughs> 23. Guaranteed. <laughs> okay. Bob Caplow, 23, going once, going twice. Thanks for entertaining us, Bob. <laughs> All right, we have a stash of books. Uh, Armstrong, Collins, Aldrin, first on the moon. No, no autograph. There's a whole bunch of old books in there. Uh, Dora. Uh, Cosmonauts. Oh, Cos. Monotics. Monotics. A colorful history of the uh, wonderful space station there. Oh, is that Mir? Oh, looks like it. I don't know. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Mir. Uh, Great Mambo Chicken and the Trans. Human condition. Sorry, I Wow. Stealth aircraft. Uh, carrying the fire. Oh, it's about the lunar module. Oh, Rocket Boys by Homer Hickam. In hardcover. Now, nope, not signed. Not signed. No, does He's still alive. You can go to one of his Oh, yeah. Go to his thing. He'll go. Uh, Mach 2. It's a CD. Yep. CD. DVD, probably. Uh, Buzz Aldrin, Men from Earth. Uh, the X Planes. Boy, that looks like all the stuff hanging in date right now. Uh, Blackbird. Warbots. Warbots. Written by G. Harry Stein. Oh, it is a G. Harry Stein book. Okay, that's good. Uh, Geo, Red Star in Orbit. Uh, the Cruise to the Stars. And The Rocket Team. How about 10 bucks? Whole library. Whole library, 10 bucks. 10 bucks. How about 20 bucks? There's 13 items here. 20 bucks. Come on, there's G. Harry in there. He's worth 20 bucks. Maybe give me 20? 20 bucks. How about 30? 30 dollars. 20 bucks. How about 25? Okay, 20 bucks to Chris. Going once, going twice. Sold. 20 bucks. What, what lot number was that? 86? And Chris has got that one. You got it? Hey, Randy, I'm going to interrupt just a moment uh, as the crowd is spinning. Uh, Tom Seacrest, as many of you may know, is going in for cancer surgery this Friday, and there are a couple of cards on the table outside of the uh, room yep. here that uh, appreciate any of the, those of you who know him uh, would sign. Yeah, I think it's Thursday, Thursday isn't it? Yeah. First part, it's Thursday he's going in, right? So Thursday he's going in for surgery. He's real scared, very worried about it, but you know everything looks pretty good as far as prep for him and everything. But there's cards out there. Please uh, sign those cards.
I'll be coming after you too if uh, you don't get them signed. Anyway, lot 83 is a pin, and the pin, I just opened it, is, um, it's the Orion, the new Orion. Let's see how how accurate it is. Okay, one of the newer versions of the Orion. No, it's uh, the SLS. It's the SLS? It's the matching pin to the Orion pin that somebody just got. Oh, okay, where is that Orion pin? You have it, Pam. Okay, five bucks? Sure. Okay, how about ten? Five dollars going once. Ten dollars? Anybody ten dollars? Five dollars going once, going twice, could, sold. Could be a tie pack if anybody still wears ties. Yeah, who does that? <laughs> I do. All right, sold. Five bucks. Lot 83, Pam Gilmore. All right, I've got a Tempest uh, Fugit by Space Age Industries. Lot number 32, uh, die cut fins, balsa nose cone. Looks like BT20 body tube. Five bucks? Ten. Ten dollars. How about fifteen? Fifteen, how about twenty? Twenty. Twenty-five, Steve? How about thirty? Forty. Forty dollars. Fifty dollars, Steve? Forty dollars to Dave. Going once, twice, sold. Dave, forty dollars. In the collection. <laughs> All right, another lot of motors. Um, there's a lot of motors here. I'm looking to see if there's any like B14s or anything like that. There's a D13 in there. There's a D13 in here. Yeah. Okay, it's lot 55. They're all about 40 motors. Uh, Ten bucks. They're all good motors. You can still burn them this week. Ten bucks. <laughs> Ten bucks. <laughs> Come on, five bucks. Who needs motors? Five bucks, good man. Ten? Ten? Ten bucks. Will you do fifteen? Do twelve. Five, twelve. Okay. Hey, but am I taking away from the kid for fifteen? Don't let him fool you. Okay, Zach's got him for twelve. All right, good. Uh, what do we got here? Sure Shot Igniters and some Balsa Reducers. Uh, the Balsa Reducers are... Musty. <laughs> number 10 to number 16, and the Sure Shot Igniters looks like... Ooh, most of the pack is there. And... Um, count how many are there, man. Is there 12 or is there not? There's there more. 12, 12 packs, and it looks like there's 12 per box. Well, the original oh, yeah. they're, they're the original Sure Shots that we had earlier. Uh, 20 bucks. Anybody give me 20 bucks for those? $15. There's 10 of them. $15. How about 20? $15. $15. Going one? 20. How about 25? Yeah, go for it. Go ahead. Joe needs these. He flies rockets all the time. <laughs> Could you say that again while maintaining eye contact? <laughs> Not a chance in hell. <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> Joe shows up every week at the build session. Hasn't built a rocket or flown anything since. Anyway, where were we? Anyway, I forgot. Fifteen or rent fifteen dollars? Fifteen dollars. Okay. How about somebody give me twenty bucks for the lot? All right. Fifteen dollars going once, going twice. Sold. Fifteen bucks. Thirty-eight one time. Lot number 67 is a starter kit. It's an old E2X, um, I don't know what model that is. America. America. Is that the America? Oh, right there, America. <laughs> <laughs> Working on it. Working on it. Yeah, it's the generic on steroids, or with stickers, I guess. Uh, starter kit, nice starter kit. Good giveaway to some kid that needs a starter kit. Ten bucks? Ten bucks. You guys need a starter kit? You need a new starter kit? There's a new starter kit right there. Ten bucks. No? Come on, somebody give me five dollars for it. All right, we're gonna we're gonna bundle that with this. All right, we have got bundle number two. And it's gonna and it's gonna come with the starter kit. 
and uh, I want 50 bucks. Who give me 50 bucks? 50 bucks. How about 60? 70? Will you give me 70? 70. 70. 80? 80? 90? 85. 85. Go 90, Tom. 90. 95? Go ahead. 95. It's under 100. 95. 95, Tom. <laughs> 95. Awesome. Uh, 95 going once, going twice. Sold. $95. And we threw the starter kit in, too. Yeah. So 67 into 67 and two. <laughs> okay, this is a Q modeling uh, upscale. Mark Snooper. Of the, uh, what is this, Mark Snooper 2? Is that what they call it? Yeah, Mark Snooper 2. Snooper 2, they call it. Uh, looks like a nice heavy duty upscale um, through the wall fins, uh, basswood parts, nice kit. It is a Q modeling. Q modeling. Let's start at 20 bucks. Yeah, it's a nice kit, right? Yeah, 20 bucks. 20? How about 25? The landing legs are spring on this? Are they really? Okay, 20 bucks, 25 bucks. Anybody give me 25? I'll give you 25. Steve, you gonna go against me? <laughs> Come on, Steve. 30 bucks. 30, how about 35? I'm not bidding, but <laughs> you wanna go 35? No, 30 bucks, 30 bucks to Steve. Anybody else? Going once, going twice. Gosh, what a steal. Steve Crystal, 30 bucks. Uh, beta launch vehicle by Estes. Uh, clear fin can. Oh, I hate when they do that packaging. Vern, this wasn't your packaging, was it? No, no. You had nothing to do with this. This was clearly Damon. You know, this really stinks when we can't look at it. But I'm talking, yeah, I'm talking to the choir now, aren't I? Uh, anyway, uh, that's worth five bucks. Anybody give me five? Five bucks. Come on, kit for five bucks. It's got a clear fin can. Five. How about ten? Okay, it's gonna go for five. Pam Gilmore, five bones. Eight. Eight. Where's eight? Where's eight? Eight. Jeff Side Dade over here. Pam. Ten. Ten. Nine. Ten. You're gonna go ten. Ten. All right. Jeff, you wanna go twelve? Twelve. He went twelve. Will you go fifteen? No. But Jeff's gonna give me twelve. Going once. Going twice. Sold. Twelve dollars. Lot seventy four. Ready? Somebody's hollering my name. Uh -huh. He gave you a kid. Yeah. Kid? Yes. This present. Awesome. Good man. Lot 73, an LTV Scout. Uh, this is the one that's got all the plastic molded pieces in the top. The body tube's not too hot, and the uh, balsa wood looks like it is. <laughs> well, yeah, but I thought it was broken, but no, they got a little tiny fit, so they're fine. Uh, what's the scout going to go for? How about five bucks? How about ten bucks? Fifteen? Twenty. Fifteen dollars. Somebody give me twenty? Okay, how about twenty-five? Twenty-five? How about thirty? Thirty dollars? Twenty-five over here. Thirty dollars. we go thirty-five? Thirty-five. Steve, forty? All right, $35 going once, going twice, sold for $35. What's your name? Mark Snoffer. Mark Snoffer. <laughs> 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 not convertible. All right, we got a couple of uh, models that. Uh, uh, the Apollo 27, and uh, what was the other one there, Amanda? I forgot. The Explorer 1. Two easily convertible models. No, they're not. They're not. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you that Apollo 27 will fly just fine. See, Chris said it will fly just fine. All right, uh, $10. 15 Come on, $10. Somebody give me $10. $10. 15 Oh my, five. Somebody give me five dollars for the two. How about 10? I'll give you 10. How about 15, Chris? Got a 15 here, Roger will do it? No, 10 bucks. 10 bucks going once, 
Ten bucks gone twice. Shoot, sold to me for ten bucks. <laughs> and five for the Apollo 27. Who? Amanda. I'll, I'll split it with you. Not get what is that? Hey. All right, this is an E24. Four, four. E24 four. It's an Enerjet. And I'd like five bucks for that. 57. Five bucks. Come on, Enerjet motor. Do you have this motor, Bob? Several. Several, yes. Yeah. How about five bucks? Somebody give me five bucks for it. Five, 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 five bucks in the back. Okay. Yes. Yes. We go 10, 10. 15. Yeah. 12. Okay, ten dollars. Um, where's fifteen? Okay, thanks, Mark. Uh, there's an igniter in there. There is. There is an igniter. Oh God, is, is that a crapper head? They didn't have crapper heads back then. Yeah, it's a it's a pretty cool looking sure shot, isn't it? All right, that's worth an extra five bucks alone. Who give me twenty? Twenty bucks. Okay, I'm looking for fifteen. I got fifteen over here. Going once. Going twice. Sold, 15 bucks, Mark Johnson. All right, I have got a, a piston system, piston launcher, I can't tell who it's made by. CMR. CMR, C CMR huh? All right, it's got everything there to make a piston. Piston kit for five bucks. Phenolic tube. Phenolic, is it phenolic tube? Oh, it is, isn't it? Before they invented the crack shaft. Yep, yep. <laughs> okay, phenolic tube, five bucks. Nice piston kit, five bucks. Five bucks, do you even know what a piston kit is? Yes, <laughs> yes, I do. It. Good, good, he knows, he knows. Okay, I got five bucks, anybody give me 10? All right, going once, going twice, $10. All right, how about, how about 12, Zach? 12, okay, we got $10 going once, going twice, sold, 10 bucks. What number is it? Uh, this is number 33, and what's your name? Mike Fisher. Mike Fisher. Is this it? Not box box is last. All right, do we have nothing hiding? Nothing. Everything's out from under the table? Yep, that's All right, we're almost done, gang. Um, oh. Oh shoot, we should have tried to done this when Vern was up here. But anyway, this is a Mark II, and uh, the Mark II, when it was originally came out, it had a pencil sharpener nose cone from Crayola. Late Sweetie, that's a 60-year-old nose cone. Okay, so it is an original nose cone. That nose cone's patented, did you know that? Yeah. I saw that. And they went for 10 cents at the time, but it's probably worth 100 times that now. $20? 20 cents. 20 cents. <laughs> All right, anybody give me 10 bucks for it? It's it's a kit and it's got an original nose cone in the original packaging. The nose cone's worth far more than the kit. Who makes that kit anyway? Semrock. Oh, it's Semrock. Okay, no big deal. You guys can get plenty of those. Anyway, give me 10 bucks for that. How about 15? Lita, 15. Oh, no. Good. How about. Uh, oh, no, Lita, you're just ripping, Lita's just ripping her eye. Okay, all right, that's fine. Oh, I'll let you off the hook. Okay, where are we at anyway? Lita got me all rustled here. 15. You're at 10, right? 15? 10? Give, somebody give me 15. 15 in the back. How about 20? Somebody give me 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Oh, my gosh. We're going to let that go for 15 bucks? I want 20 bucks for that thing. All right, 15 it is. 15 going once, 15 going twice. Sold 15 bucks to Gary Beaver. All right, what's in box 68? It is a butrate dope, number 25 sanding sealer. There's no way this can be any good anymore, is it? Probably is. <laughs> oh my gosh, one bottle looks like it's good. Okay, yeah. Uh, one bottle is good. They were born and somebody brought them in here. Yeah, they're starting to. Yeah, they're. Yeah, that's good stuff. Well, no, that's not good. That's that's solidified oh, already. Uh, okay, there's one bottle that's good, and the others are just souvenirs. <laughs> hey, but wait. If you shake it, it will loosen. 
It might, yeah, it might. Um, you said it's never two hundred dollars. Five bucks. Five. We go five. Not like nitro. No, we won't go five. How about three? Three bucks. Three bucks. That's a good. That's a good buy. Three there's bucks? six yeah. of them here. There's six. Well, there's only one. Okay, three bucks. <laughs> Okay, we're going to give Bob a chance to look at it, because he'll give me five bucks for that. Oh, that's right. That's for doping the tissue airplane wings. That's what it originally was. Yeah. It's good sanding sealers. Wow. Huh. Um, I have got some motors coming up here from... Oh, sure, they're worth five bucks. Okay, five bucks going once. Nothing else for sniffing. Five bucks going <laughs> twice. <laughs> Sold to Bob Alway for five dollars. Party and Bob. Party and Bob. <laughs> okay, I have some uh, motors from MPC made in Mount Clemens, Michigan, of all places. I've got some V6 fours. And this is lot 58. There's B33s. There's A32s. And there's some long mini motors here. A34Ms. It looks like there's five, uh, ten motors roughly. Ten motors, five bucks. Are there any mini Ds? No mini Ds. They're mini A. They're mini As. Um, they're all A3s. Yep, they're all A threes. Five bucks. Five bucks for some motors. Okay, let's throw them in with some books. What books we got there, Bannon? Rockets and missiles. Rockets and missiles. A history of space exploration by Tim Furness. Yep. I can't get the other one. Can I Master get a, engineer uh, explain a little bit about this real yeah. quick? Sure. Go ahead and get the mic, Dad. Okay. okay. I'm donating these books out of my personal collection. This first one, uh, the Master Engineering Rocket, it contains a Saturn V. You build it. It's over five feet tall. Ooh. It's a paper rocket kit. Then. Yes, it is. And it's all looking in this part of the book. It's all the Saturn V. You have to build it. So. All right. Wait, wait. That's that's not the good book. And we're gonna have got motors with it too, so you can fly this paper model when you're done. This is a great book too. I read it. It's got lots of pictures in it. He just looked at the pictures. Yeah. Here's. Example, Jim and I. And this one, this one is uh, quite unique because on the last few pages it has, example, Polaris, Missile of Tomorrow, Atlas, Missile of Tomorrow, Titan, Missile of Tomorrow. In a bank statement. In a bank statement. <laughs> 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 so you never send the bill. <laughs> All right. Hey, a group of books and some motors. Ten bucks. Come on, let's do ten. Ten. I want the books. You want the book? You get them all. You get the motors. Know, okay. Second. All right. Ten bucks. How about fifteen? Come on, somebody give me fifteen. I give you fifteen for Roger. How about twenty? Twenty dollars. Twenty-five, Roger. No. Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks going once. She bid twenty. Twenty bucks. Uh, did you say twenty-two? She did. No. I, I know, but did you bid twenty-two? No, sir. Okay, just checking. <laughs> 20 bucks going once, going twice, sold, 20 bucks. I see what you tried to do there. I don't have a birthday coming up. <laughs> All right, we got a, a couple of models. Didn't we go through this once before? This is lot 26. Yeah, don't get them. You got them last time. Uh -huh. Oh, no, no, I don't have these. I don't have these. Somebody else has something like this. This is, again, another set of Knight Hercules and an X-15 um, experimental. Should somebody give me five bucks for the models? How about ten? Nobody's going to give me ten. Okay, we're going to throw the mystery box in then. Ten bucks? Chris, ten bucks? 
Yeah. 20? Yes. 20? How about 30? How about 40? Somebody give me 40 bucks for the combination. 40 bucks. This is it. With the mystery box. That's the cheapest mystery box, yeah. $50. $50. Okay, how about 60? It's the last mystery box. How about 70? $70 for a mystery box and some models. $60 going once, going five. 65, how about 70? How about 75? Okay, how about 80? 85? There's nothing here. 85. No? 70, 70, 70, $80 to town. $80 going once, $80 going twice. Sold, Tom High, 80 bucks. Make sure he gets his money. All right, reminder, Tom Seekers has cards out there. We need to sign those for him. And thank you, thank you everyone for donating and turning over your money to make the scholarship a super success. Make sure you see the cashier as you leave the building. And we'll see you next time at NARM 58. 59, 60, and 61. <laughs> 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 Next for Friday. Which way they let it be the auctioneer and not keep track in the back? I got room on my lap for my bag of balls. That was a pleasure the whole